continuing working on Sokatoa. Uh, this is the fourth video in the series. I want to finish uh, Sokatoa. So we are dealing with angles now. So as we have been seeing, that uh, we, if you go through these four steps, you will invariably get the right answer if you don't uh, do silly mistakes here. So the first thing is label. So this is the angle that you want to find. So that's already labeled. So this is your opposite. And this is your adjacent or the angle side. So now you have to decide which formula you're going to use. So you've got O and A. So the smiley face will go to TOA. Okay. And I have to need to cover up T. Because T angle is always related with the trig ratio. So now I'll write tan, T stands for tan theta, is O divided by A. O is sitting on top of A, so you have to start with O. Okay, don't write A divided by O, that will give you a wrong answer. So it will be O because O is in top and A, A is in the bottom, so O divided by A. So as I discussed here in the last video, you get theta by doing the te getting the tan inverse of both sides. So you go tan inverse of O. What is O is 12 divided by 5. Just like that. So get your calculator out. Uh, change my to degrees. Always go to check whether your uh, calculator is in degrees or radians. Radians you'll learn later on. So it is shift 10 bracket 12 divided by 5. Close the bracket. It's 67 degrees. So you want to round it to the whole uh, nearest degree. So it is 67.3. So rounding it to the nearest degree will be 67 degrees. So this theta is 67 degrees. Okay. Now, by the way, now if someone is asking you, if this is, say, alpha, how will you find alpha here? Think about it. This is 67 degree. How will you find alpha? Just what, did, what do you know about three angles of a triangle? It's 180. So this is already 90. So I can say, okay, I know theta plus alpha has to be 90. I can say theta plus 67 is 90. So theta, so I can ask now, now what, this is a number, plus 67 is 90, which is 23 degrees. Okay, because 23 plus 67, you can check your answer, 67 plus 23 gives you 90. Okay, just a thought. So let me remove the Veil here. Okay, now here again the same process. First label the sides. So this is the opposite. So we're not dealing with that. Don't label it. This is your hypotenuse. And this is your A, which is the adjacent or the angle. So which formula will you use? The smiley face will go where? Yes, if you're thinking car, you're right. So smiley face goes to this. And you need to cover up C. Now we write cos theta is A is on, sitting on the top, the A divided by H. So theta is cos inverse of A divided by H. Let me write one step more. Always good to write more steps. So theta is cos inverse of what is A? A is 7 and the H is 11. So get a calculator out. And degrees. And then you go shift cos bracket 7 divided by 11. I should have written 11. That's not H divided by 11. I'll change that later. Which is? 50 degrees, 50.4, rounding into the nearest degree is 50 degrees. So I need to change this to 11. 
to 11 degree and the answer that we got was theta is 40 degrees exactly okay not exactly rounding it to the nearest degree okay the last two questions i'll do it very fast here so this is this is your this is your hypotenuse okay here the angle this is a right angle this is a hypotenuse so this is your o and this is your a so where will the smiley face go hmm? smiley face you are using o and a so if you decided let me put a star there and the star is with toa because you're using o and a and you need to cover up now t okay so i can write 10 theta is o divided by a okay so theta is 10 inverse of o divided by a again those who haven't heard my previous videos how did i get this because you're doing let me do that again here in this video so to get from tan theta to theta this is one step i have done in a previous video just to explain this again so what we're doing is we're taking tan inverse of both sides the reason of doing that is to get rid of this tan so these two are opposite of each other and they get cancelled okay okay i showed this in the previous video suppose uh, just to repeat it so shift 10 of say 10 20 okay uh, this is in radians so this is not working so shift if you change this into radian degrees so shift 10 of 10 45 would give me 45 so this and this gets cancelled out okay so here what I have to do is this is what I've done so the next step is this and this will get cancelled so theta is 10 inverse of I'll rewrite this again doesn't matter O divided by a so theta is 10 inverse of O how, how much is your O O is 20 and a is this is 20 divided by 6 so shift I have to change two degrees every time it takes a long time so this is shift 10 20 divided by 6 which is 73 degrees so that's fine so theta is 73 degrees rounding to the nearest degree okay the last question now so yeah again this is the angle this is your opposite <coughs> this is your hypotenuse and this is your adjacent so where will the star go now the star you're dealing with a and h so we're using car here so i'll put that here and this will go cover up c so what can we write c is equal to a divided by or oh, let me write cos theta not c c stands for cos alpha here cos alpha is a divided by h <coughs> excuse me i've got a bad cough so alpha would be cos inverse it's the same thing okay, you're taking cos inverse of both sides so a divided by h so alpha would be cos inverse of a is 7 divided by 12 so get the calculator out menu run at a chain to degrees so we are dealing with degrees so shift cos 7 divided by 12 close the bracket that is 53 degrees so the answer is alpha is 53 degrees rounding to the nearest degree okay see you in the next video